<clears throat> Oop. Good morning. Good morning, Fancy Food Friday people. How are you? Y'all let me know when you get on, please. My name is Tracy of Tracy's Fancy, and I'm trying something new today. I'm on a new camera with a new mic, and I want to know that you can hear me. This is a live test. <clears throat> Y'all let me know when you're here. I'm going to pull you up on my phone and see what kind of traction we're getting over here. Yay! Pam's on. Good morning, Pam. Can you let me know that you can hear me? I'm testing out a new mic, and I don't know if I have it hooked up right. Yay, we've got some people popping on. Say hello. Hi. Hi, honey. Can you hear me? Tina, can you hear me? <laughs> Someone say yes. You can hear me. Say hello, and you can hear me, please. Good morning, Denise. Good morning, Alicia. Good morning, first time. Can y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Nice and clear. Yay! Yay, good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Hi, Tracy, Tina, Becky, Roger, Lynn. Lynn, Lynn, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. <clears throat> good morning, y'all. I missed you guys last week. Alicia, thank you for joining today. This is, um, my name is Tracy and I'm with Tracy's Fancy, which is a furniture redesign uh, decorating business. Um, I have a website, tracysfancy.com. And for about the last six and a half, six months, um, we have been joining here on Fridays doing some, something completely different than furniture and painting. Um, we are making ourselves beautiful inside and out with um, a better eating plan, a whole food diet, not necessarily paleo um, and not necessarily keto, just mostly a whole food clean eating diet with a little bit of protein thrown in there. Um, and I was driven, driven to this um, from um, a diagnosis that I received back in December after getting really sick in October. And I have an autoimmune disease called autoimmune hepatitis, which has affected my uh, liver greatly. And so I decided to take on the autoimmune protocol, which is a specific diet for autoimmune disease, um, which is the base of what I have going on. And in doing so and making that announcement, I had lots of people jump on board with me and say that they were very, very intrigued and very interested by the diet. And then over a period of time, um, I've been feeling so much better. I've lost a lot of weight. There've been a lot of changes happen for the good in my body. And so people just have asked me to keep sharing. And so that's what I do. And I come here every Friday morning to hopefully encourage um, you guys out there and then also to hold myself accountable because it is really strict and um, this is not a uh, autoimmune protocol friendly world that we live in and it makes it a little tough sometimes and I've been able to stay 100% on course because I know that I have to come right here on Friday and be honest and true and transparent and answer to you guys um, so uh, it's, it's been really, really a good system for me. And I think that it's been, I think I can say it's been a good system for a lot of you guys out there too, because um, I get the messages and the emails and the uh, text messages even from some of you that have my phone number, um, letting me know how good you guys are doing too. And I am so proud of y'all and I'm proud of myself and I am thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for my friend Corinne, who was the dietitian who uh, contacted me to begin with and shared this wonderful way of eating with me that I just don't know how the whole world doesn't know about it and why they don't do it. It's just basically eating out of the produce section and it's not even being a vegetarian. I mean, I eat protein every day. So it, it's really not difficult, but the world makes it a little more difficult with every drive through on every corner and a grocery store full of processed foods. So um, <clears throat> I'm missing a ton of people coming on over here. Um, Connie, good morning, Anastasia, and Kristen, and Lonnie, good morning, and um, Rob, Rob Song, good morning, Rob. Thank you. Thank you so much, Michelle and Jessica. So last week, I was not on here last week. Where was I last week? Mm. Okay, so I have trouble remembering things. <laughs> I can't remember where we were last week. Why we didn't? Why we didn't come on? Anyway, I'm here today. And uh, <clears throat> good morning, Barb. Barb, and good morning, Margaret. 
Deborah, I'm in Australia. I love your work. Midnight here in Australia. I love that we have people coming on from Australia and Switzerland. Still sitting here working and popped on. Yay, I'm so glad, Deborah. You're working. Are you working on furniture? Is that what you're working on this morning? Or midnight for you? Um, I'm so glad that you were able to pop on. Connie says, I'm get, are you saying I'm getting a nice hand? Thank you, Connie, I am. Y'all all know that I started off with a lot of color anyway because I eat so many carrots and sweet potatoes every single day. And um, the keratin that is in the carrots and the sweet potatoes, and even it's even in your kale and your spinach, um, it puts a lot of color in your skin. So it gives you a really healthy glow. It's a very popular thing for people that are in Hollywood to do to keep skin color year round because I'm very, very pale naturally, like super, super pale, um, milky white. So this puts a lot of color in my skin, but yeah, we've done a lot of outdoor stuff. Um, so, oh, I know last week, that's what, I was on the river with my, it was the first day of summer for us. It was uh, Zadie's first day of summer, and I took her to the river, and that was last Friday, and then I went to the river uh, day before yesterday with two of my grandkids that are in town, and my son and his wife. They're here right now in my house, and then today we're going on an all-adult river tubing trip in New Braunfels, um, Guat uh, Guatemala, not going to Guatemala, we're going to the uh, Guadalupe, gosh, the Guadalupe River. Um, Timmy, you caught us live. Good morning. I'm so glad to see you on here. God bless your little heart. Thank you for being here. Um, so let's see. Um, yeah, so it was all my all adult kids, just the adults. We all got sitters for the littles because everyone has littles. All the grandkids, everyone got their own individual sitters, even myself for my 11-year-old. Um, it was going to be all adults. And then I wound up sick day before yesterday, or yesterday, yesterday, running fever. And now my son started running fever in the middle of the night, my six foot four, huge, big son. And so he's in a bed with fever and chills right now. And he's not going to go. He's not going to go to the river. I don't know what, why. I don't know why he doesn't want to go float on a tube in the baking sun with fever and chills. So I was so excited. You know how as a mom you just get excited to have all your kids in one spot and their spouses. And as much as I love the littles, everything is about the grandkids. And today was going to be about us and just the kids and get to talk like adult stuff. And so, and now Brody's not going to go and he's kind of the life of the party and the big, loud, funny when he keeps us going and I'm kind of bummed, but anyway, we're going to go, we're going without him. So, um, oh, and Kelly's on from Australia too. Good morning, Kelly. Did you see, we just had someone else. Was it Deborah, right? From Australia also. I love this. I love, love, love this. Um, do you guys follow those of y'all that are in Australia? Do y'all follow, um, uh, oh, oh, House of Imperfections. Oh my gosh, Sandra, Sandra Misfoot. She's from Australia and she's a furniture painter that I've known for probably like five years here on social media. Do y'all follow her for furniture painting? Well, you should if you don't. Um, anyway, um, so let's get let's get talking. I want to talk to you guys about some things. Okay, let me tell you about the system today. So, I have you noticed? I don't really know where my eyeballs are supposed to go. I feel like my eyeballs are doing like this because. When you film live or filming at all, if you use your tablet or your, your phone, um, it's a little different than using like a video camera. A video camera looks at you and you can see where you're supposed to look. You look at the lens of the video camera. It's very centered and you know right where to look. Well, you have to train yourself when you use a phone, um, you know, the lens is over here. It's off side. So when my phone sits above me, I can see myself like right here, but the lens is over here. So I've already trained myself because I want to look at you and not be looking down and y'all are looking at the top of my eyelids. I've trained myself to look off to the side of the screen. Well, I got a new camera system and a new mic and stuff. So we're on my desktop now. Y'all let me know if you can tell the difference. But um, the camera is centered and up. So I'm having to look up to talk to y'all, even though I've got my face and stuff going on down here. So I keep looking down here and the comments are over there. So forgive me if it feels like I'm not looking at you. Today's the first time and um, I just haven't got the hang of it yet. I'm just going to y'all have to give me a little bit of grace until I get the hang of it. Um, Bonnie is saying good morning from New York. And yeah, Heather, you're saying drink the juice and suck it up. 
isn't that sad? I haven't even made him a green juice. I did share one with him the day before yesterday, but I didn't make him one yesterday and I didn't make him one today. I probably should be a good mama and make him a green juice, but I know he's not going to suck it up. I guess when, you know, he's just a big old boy. And I guess when they get fever and chills, you know, they're just, they have a lot of fever and a lot of chills. So, um, that's sad, but I really, if I could drag his butt out and make him go, I would do it, but he's too heavy. Um, Kelly saying, you'll look her up. Yeah, Sandra Misfit, her, the name of her business is House of Imperfections. I think it's H-O-I is what she goes by. Um, she's on Facebook, longtime social media friend. Lonnie, I don't want to hear about you eating pizza and ice cream. Those words are not allowed on Fancy Food Friday. Not allowed. Do you hear me, woman, unless you've got cauliflower crust and no wheat. Um, <laughs> I don't want to hear about it. Um, Crystal said she was watching my eyes as soon as I said that. So <laughs> were you watching because they don't know where to go? Like they're all over the place. I feel like that seems insincere right now. Like I can't look at you guys, but really, I'm really struggling with this. I should have practiced a few times, don't you think? Good morning, Nicole. Good morning. I'm so glad you're on here. This is my cliff notes for today. <laughs> they're very small, not much, not much on there. But do y'all see the top one? Oh, top one, Kelly Clarkson. Y'all, this is how professional I am. That's my notes. That's that's my notes for today. Woo, camera was a little fuzzy. So who saw, show me some thumbs up or hearts and tell me that you saw the Kelly Clarkson announcement. Kelly Clarkson, the singer from way back um, who was on, what was she on? Like America's Got Talent or American Idol, I think. Big country and Western singer now. Uh, is she or she's pop? I don't know. Heck, pop and country and Western, they're all the same now. They just all became, they just melted together. So anyone see that? Give me some action. If y'all saw the announcement that Kelly Clarkson has announced her um, uh, her secret to how she lost so much weight without surgery or any hardcore working out. Did y'all see that? Oh, she was on The Voice. I'm not getting it. No one saw that? Y'all didn't see that? I had so many people send me those messages. Good morning, Kathy. Hi. Uh, Kelly, thank you. This is wallpaper. It's listed. This wallpaper is in my Amazon shop. Um, in my Amazon shop, I've got the link to it. It was I did this whole wall for like $100. It was so cheap, and it is so gorgeous. And it is this beautiful, maybe even more so in person. Um, okay, so yeah, Kelly Clarkson, you know, I don't know if y'all know her, but um, she was really cute on, on The Voice. And um, over time, uh, you know, she's become a woman she's not just a teen anymore and then she's just puffed up she puffs up and then she loses weight and then she puffs up and she loses weight and i'm probably gonna have to go get a tissue because i have a runny nose um good morning oh lonnie says she saw it diane mathis good morning honey uh so anyway yeah she announced that she and she looks fabulous y'all she looks fantastic well evidently she is announcing that she did a diet that was specific for autoimmune disease. Now, I didn't research it or look it up when the people sent it to me, but evidently she read some book. It's a book I hadn't heard of, um, uh, but it was written by a physician who uh, backs the autoimmune protocol. Basically, it's based on autoimmune protocol. So yeah, thumbs up. Hello, we're ahead of the game. We're ahead of the game. But um, it was definitely about, about eating all whole foods, and she announced that she's had a uh, a thyroid issue for years and it most most of you guys that are on here with me have mentioned I mean really like a very large percentage of you guys are dealing with some sort of thyroid issue which y'all know that I did too 10 years ago I have a my scar all the way across right here my thyroid was completely removed and I'm on thyroid medicine forever so um, anyway so that was her big announcement and um, I was so 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 happy for her and I hope that she's able to stick it out I hope that she's able to stick to it um, I hope she's feeling so much better she sure looks good but you know we none of us are doing this to look better you I, I just don't believe it I I think we're past that I think that we are about wanting to feel better and when you feel better um, you know the looking better just it just becomes part of it because your spirit is your spirit is just free to to be instead of being caught up in the chronic pain and the the feeling that you get in your feet every morning when your feet touch, first touch the floor and your knees when you squat down and your back and your neck and um you just feel so much better and hold on just saying hey tiffany 
could you please bring me a tissue or even just a paper towel, please? Do you mind? I have runny nose. This came with a fever. It's a little congestion and sinus pressure. And um, sorry. Thank you. No, they can't see you. Okay. Tiffany's in her jammy. Thank you, honey. Are you going or are you going to stay home? I'm going to stay with her. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so now Tiffany's not going to go to the river either. That's my daughter-in-law, his wife. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. Okay, there we go. Um, much better. Uh, Kelly Clarkson, she's always smiling and happy. Well, I, thanks, Liz. Thank you. And I hope she's happier. I, I really do. Um, I wish she was my friend and I could say, yes, way to go, girl. I'm so happy for you. So let's, uh, what are we going to make today? Come on over. Let's try some new recipes so I can share it on my Fancy Food Friday. And then I could say, Kelly, you want to join me on Fancy Food Friday? Or if you're busy, that's okay. You want to FaceTime with me and I can pull you up on the screen. Not going to happen, but anyway, I feel fine. I just have a, I just have a runny nose. I feel good today. Yesterday, not so much, but today, good. So anyway, um, that's that. So let's talk about cupping. I wanted to talk to you guys. I have a, a testimony um, for cupping. Who has tried cupping? I don't know if Heather's watching, but Heather, if you're still on, I don't know if it was just a scroll through. If you're on, I just want to say good morning, and I love you, and I miss you, and I hope that you are feeling really, really good because I know you're taking good care of yourself right now, and I'm so proud of you. Um, so let's see. Cupping. Who's tried cupping? Anyone? Anyone? We have about 45 people on here. Is anyone? Marlene. Marlene has tried cupping. Look, I don't know what way my hand goes. Marlene's tried cupping. Or was, Mar or was Marlene saying hi? I don't know. All right. I have wanted to try cupping for quite some time. I get a massage. Um, I don't care how tight my budget might be. I pretty much get a massage once a week. Once a week. Um, once every two weeks, if I am just super, super busy and don't have time, don't have time to carve out for myself. Um, but pretty much, oh my gosh, it's pouring. It is pouring down rain outside. Tiffany, it's pouring. What's up guys? Am I not supposed to go to the river? <laughs> what the heck? I mean, like dumping. Can someone look up the weather for me on San Antonio and let me know what the forecast says today? <laughs> That's crazy. I, I, you know what? We're just going to all have to come over here and get our babysitters over in one house and all of us adults just come here and like play cards or something at the table. Heck. Okay, so cupping. Kelly is saying, yes, she's tried cupping. Um, Roger, or Lynn is saying, I always say Roger. Lynn's saying, no, what is it? All right, so cupping is a form of, um, it's not really massage, but I guess, I don't know what you would categorize it as, but it's these, uh, some people use silicone cups and some people use glass cups. It's old, 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 it's an, I think it's Chinese. I think it's an ancient, ancient Chinese form of therapy to relieve toxins from the body. So uh, just like massage, massage does the same thing. It's for relaxation, but it's also to help your body um, flush out toxins. That's what massage is. So um, I don't like to go and get a massage. I've told you all this before. I don't like it where I just go and they rub lotion on my body. You know, I'm like, I can rub lotion on my body at home. I want you to get in there and get in my muscles, get in my little trigger points and get in those knots. And I want you to put a lot of pressure and I want you to dig in there and release that lactic acid, which is a toxin and let it get into my bloodstream so that it can filter filter out like it's supposed to. So that's what I like. Can y'all hear, can you hear the rain? It's raining that hard. You probably can't hear. Okay, so see, that's the problem. If I were on my phone, like I've been for the last six months with you guys, I would just take it off the tripod and walk it to the window or walk you outside. And now I can't do that because I'm on a stationary camera, so I can't walk you out there. But I, I don't even know what to say. I'm so bummed out about the river. I'm trying to hide it and stay perky, but I can't. I'm bummed. So I've been wanting to try cupping. So I, I make I I didn't I didn't want to go with someone who no one's been to before. Um, and I was at a Memorial Day pool party, 
and uh, some good friends of ours, and there was a lady there with the cupping marks. They leave these red marks down your back or wherever you've had it done, up your neck, across your shoulders, on your body, down your back. They were made, it was made super trendy and popular with Michael Phelps during the Olympics because when he would get up to swim, I don't know if y'all saw this, but he would have these like red circle marks down his back. Did y'all see that? Y'all got really quiet. Are y'all listening? Y'all are, y'all are listening intently, right? I've got you on the edge of your seat. <laughs> so, um, Anyway, I saw these marks on her back, so I was like, oh, she's done cupping. She, I, oh, awesome. So I said, hey, do you mind telling me who your therapist is, and, and would you recommend that person? And she said, oh, my gosh, she's amazing. Um, she's here in San Antonio. Thanks, guys. Y'all are giving me some thumbs up. So this lady's name is Azul, um, and she's been going to her for three years. So I was like, oh, Lord, that's awesome. Can I get her information? So I go to Azul, I meet her, she's about my age, I would say she's probably late 40s, early 50s, um, she is looks like a yoga instructor, you know, looks like she takes wonderful care of herself, um, beautiful skin, and I was like, oh, this girl's great, she's probably really understands the human body, I felt really good about it, so we go in there, and it was a really good experience, what I have to tell you is, is amazing you guys for those of you who are on the fence about this diet or for those of you who have been doing it but haven't been doing it for very long or like Kareen Kareen you're gonna love this story because Kareen has been on board has been no cheating on board now for I don't know tell us how long Kareen it's hard for me to keep up tell us how long but you're gonna love this story so listen up because this is this was it made me emotional okay it made me like I was so excited. So I go in there, I pay for an hour and I go in and I explain to her my autoimmune hepatitis. I explained to her um, the medication that I'm on. I didn't mention my diet. I don't know why. I just didn't think about it, but I mentioned my medicine. The rain just stopped like, boom, it just stopped. Sunshine's on its way. I know it. So, <clears throat> um, She's like, all right, let's get started. So we laid it. I told her I get massages all the time. Told her she could go as hard. She could do the glass jars is hard. So she heats them up and she puts them on your back and your skin. So the, your skin is flat and the cup goes like that on top of your skin. And then because of the heat and the suction, the, your skin kind of go pulls up, just your skin pulls up into the cup, just like that. It just pulls up in, but your muscles and fascia and all stay down here flat. Okay. So it kind of pulls your skin up like this. And if you're a cupping therapist and I'm explaining this wrong, please let me know, but I have read a lot about it and I, I think this is my basic men, layman's explanation mentality that I'm explaining here to my followers so that it makes sense to them. Um, your skin gets pulled up and inside your skin we have just thick little capillary beds, like sponge full of little capillary beds all in your skin. So as your skin gets sucked and pulled up into this cup, um, uh, your capillary beds up inside the cup start to sense the toxins that are being sucked out of like your fascia and your muscles and things like that. They, your capillary beds sense that and their job is to absorb. So the capillaries on purpose start to open themselves up a little bit. That's why you get what's called bruising, even though it's not really bruising. It's just the seeping of the capillary beds as they open themselves up to absorb the toxins up into them. They, their, their job is to take those toxins into those capillary beds. And because of that, the blood releases into the surface of the skin and you end up with a, like a circle, of a red mark circle. Um, and then when the cupping is finished, the cups are removed and you have these red circle beds down your back or your neck or wherever they are. And then those beds slowly, as your body can handle it, release the toxins into your main bloodstream and then it's filtered out through, you know, your liver, your kidneys, I guess your kidneys and um, it's filtered through your bloodstream. Um, so that's that. That's a simple layman's explanation for it. So we're about 30 minutes in and she, uh, and it, okay, how, what did it do for me? How did I feel? She wanted me to talk through most of the session. That's not very difficult. As you can see, I have no problem talking, um, but she wanted me to explain it. She said, just for this first session, could you tell me what you're feeling? You know, we get to know each other. And I did feel some, uh, I don't hurt anywhere at all anymore, you guys. I don't have joint pain, muscle aches. I have none of that. But I do have, on my left side, I have, um, some tingling in my skin and I'm not sure if there's like some spinal 
nerve pressure going on. Um, I'm just not real sure. I didn't know if it was the prednisone, but it goes on about 24 hours a day. I don't really get a relief unless I'm sleeping. It's not painful at all. It's just annoying as all heck. And so I thought maybe this would help that. However, cupping won't help if it's nerve pain. That's what I understand. It really only helps if it's a uh, tissue. <coughs> so we go there. I mean, we go there. I'm already there. So what do I feel? I do feel relief as she pulls the skin up. Hey, can someone comment? Because I see hearts and stuff, but I don't, I just, I'm, it's this new screen. I'm feeling a little insecure about it. I see all this smiley and cry. that's good. That's awesome. But someone type in a comment. Corrine, are you still there? Will you type in a comment? <laughs> Kelly, will you type in a comment? So, um, uh, blah, blah, what was I saying? I did feel some relief. And I would tell her that's relaxing. Yeah, I was completely relaxed. So I would go back and do it just for the relaxation of it. Um, and I did for 24 hours, the tingling sensation was completely gone. I mean, completely gone for 24 hours. I did not have tingling. It's the first I haven't had tingling in probably about three months. That's been going on for about three months. Um, it feels like bugs under my skin, like a large, just all around my shoulder blade. Um, was completely gone. And then when it came back, it came back a little harder. Now it's kind of back to its norm. So I do think if I went to have cupping done regularly, that it might help this area. Um, it certainly would relax me, just like my massages relax me. What was the cost? My massages are $60 for an hour. The cupping was $60 for an hour. Okay, we're 30 minutes in, and I, she starts to take the cups off. And I'm like, oh, I guess maybe she's moving to another area of my body. But she says, okay, um, we're going to wrap this session up. And I said, oh, okay. And she said, um, this was very interesting. And I was like, okay. You know, I'm laying there with no clothes on, with my face down. I'm like, that's an odd thing to say. This was interesting. She goes, this was very interesting. And I said, okay, what do you mean? She goes, just meet me out front, get dressed, meet me out front, and I'll have some water for you. So I was like, okay. So I, we, she closes the door, and I see the clock. And I'm like, it's only been 30 minutes. I paid for an hour. Why it? Why is it only been 30 minutes? So we get outside and she says, we only, we only went 30 minutes today. We'll adjust the price. And so they credited me my 30 minutes. So anyway, she said, um, how do you feel? And I said, great. I'm super relaxed. Um, you know, how did it go? I'm thinking I'm going to have, I was kind of wanting my warrior marks. I was kind of wanting my cupping marks on my back. I wanted to show them off. I wanted people to say, what's on your back? And I could say, oh, I had cupping done. And you know, and um, I'm taking better care of myself and let me tell you about it. And now she says, you don't have any red marks. And I was like, really? I mean, I never read that in all my research. I hadn't read that that would happen. And I was like, really? And she goes, yeah. And she looked like stunned. And I said, why? 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 <laughs> she said, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know why. And I said, she said, I've had a few clients, very few over the years that I've done this come in and they're, they're like really, really healthy and they're on like really clean diets and um, uh, they have like some only light marking. Um, so, and I said, oh, I said, well, what are the marks indicative of? What is the red marks indicating? What are they indicating? And she said, well, it's the toxins that have been released and these capillary beds open up. And she told me that whole thing. And I said, oh, I said, wow, well, I'm on a 100% whole food diet. And instantly her face goes, oh, oh. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And I said, so what does that mean? And she said, you are, you stay in a state of detox. You are completely clean. You don't have any toxins to release. And I was like, what? And I'm in this massage place and I want to start like jumping up and down. I mean, I want to start like screaming to the world. I wanted to jump on here to you guys and go, oh my God, you're not going to believe this. I know. Can you believe it, you guys? She's never, she's been doing this cupping technique for like 20 years. She's never had someone not have any red marks ever. And I wouldn't even have known that's what it was. Had she not said she has a few clients that have come in that have them lightly. None. Nowhere. And she had them all the way down to my butt. Nowhere. She said, now you were red as your skin was pulled into the cup. You were definitely red. But once I released it, it's gone. You can't even see the any ring at all. I know you guys. Thanks for the, I can't, I'm like, 
that is like the most hardcore. I mean, I know that I get my blood drawn all the time, which I actually just had it. I just had it done yesterday. There's my mark. I get my blood drawn all the time. So I, I know I see it in my lab work. I know that. But to see, to go somewhere and see someone else who's used to dealing with this and didn't have an explanation until I told her about my diet. So what am I? I'm almost seven months into this diet, you guys. I am my, I'm so clean. I'm so clean, which means so much. And it's doing exactly the whole reason I'm doing this is to give my liver a break because my liver, I had not taken care of myself. I thought I was doing good diets. I was eating processed food. I was eating bars out of packages. I was not reading ingredient contents. I wasn't eating enough green leafy vegetables. I was eating too much cheese, too much fat. My liver was so overworked, so overworked that it was just the toxins were just storing everywhere all over my body and making me inflamed on the inside and sore and miserable and achy and grumpy and all of that and fat too. So it's all, it's gone. Like it could, there was nothing to be released at least through that area. So I'm going to go back to her and I'm going to turn over and have her do like my, um, my, uh, hysterectomy scar. I'm going to have her do around that. I heard it can you may have some stored areas around like surgery scars and stuff like that. And we'll see, and I'll let you guys know, but I am telling you that was the best evidence. I wish I would have done a before and an after photo where you could still see like where you could still see like a suction mark, like a, like an indention mark on my skin where the cup had been, but there was no discoloration at all. So if you Google cupping and you look at the bruising, you will see what I expected to look like. And the woman that I met at that Memorial day, swimming party who had them all down her back. Hers were purple, purple, crazy. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Now, mind you, athletes may go do it and they may have super clean diets, but they work out like if they're training really hard, they're, they're constantly breaking down their muscle and rebuilding and breaking down and rebuilding. So they're building up lactic acid on purpose all the time. And so they're going to have marks still all the time, no matter what their diet is, because they are overworking their muscles constantly. Well, y'all remember, I'm not doing that. It's not even recommended with autoimmune hard workouts like that, or that's a thing of my past. No more running for miles and miles and miles. No more, you know, pumping weights, no more, none of that stuff. My life is very much going to be about just eating right and staying relaxed and controlling my stress and getting enough sleep and maybe adding in some yoga and Pilates. I have been doing a lot of stretching. So um, stretching and I've kind of been doing some planks and things like that that are easy. So I want to share that with you guys. So those, my autoimmune sufferers, sufferers out there, and I'm sorry, you guys, I have no comments at all. I My comments have disappeared. So if it sounds like I'm just talking about myself right now, I want you all to know that I can't answer anyone because there's no comments. They're there, but they stopped a long time ago. But I am getting the, the hearts and the, the faces coming across. So thank you for that. It makes me realize that y'all are still there. I really appreciate that. Um, so I'll go back and answer comments later. And I'm really sorry that those have stopped. I don't even really know how to scroll on this oh my comments haven't stopped <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh okay so y'all are all really excited for me good morning becky love good morning i don't know if you're still on don't know how long ago that was okay four years we've got some really serious February. okay corinne there are comments <laughs> i just didn't have a scroll right okay so that's that. So real quick, I want to, uh, if you have someone in your area who um, is a cupping therapist and becomes highly recommended, um, I suggest that you go give it a try, especially if you haven't started this diet. If you give it a try now and see how you feel um, and see what your marks look like, um, I think that this massage type can be kind of an indicator. And then if you get onto the diet and maybe do it for, I'd say maybe 12, three, four months, um, try it again, see what your marks look like, and then try it at about the six to seven month mark. Um, we'll see, see what you look like. I think that it is a, a great thing to try. Okay, what was I, I was trying to see what time it is, 9.30. We're 35 minutes in. So real quick, I wanna tell you about a couple of recipes. I told you that I will always, come here with something new for you every week, not just um, something new to eat. So um, do, do not forget, because sometimes about this time we start to have people drop off, I want to let y'all know that my website is tracysfancy.com, uh, tracysfancy.com, 
And um, if someone, actually, I think I can do that. Let me put that in the comments. Oh, I don't have a copy and paste. I'm not going to do it. Tracy'sFancy.com. I have a, a section on my website called uh, Fancy Food Friday. And everything that we talk about here, every video, every recipe, um, what is autoimmune diet? Why do you do it? Excuse me. Why do you do it? Um, how does it work? All the who, what, why, where, what, all of that is on there for you. It's there, right there. You can study it. It's a lot of information to take in, you guys. Um, after my live painting course takes place this Wednesday night. It's my first online live painting course. Once I get that under my belt, my next step um, for my viewers out here is to put this information in a better format so that people who are wanting to get started, that seems to be the question I get asked the most is how do I get started? Um, I'm going to put just a simple packet together for how do I get started. It'll answer the basic question, give you a shopping list, um, give you a little bit about my experience um, and put it in a nice little package for everyone. So it'll be a lot easier also for those of you who are already on board and doing it. You can share that little nugget with your friends and family that are interested also. So just know that that is my next step after I get my painting course launched, which is Wednesday night. And I'm, I mean, it's launched, but after we do the very first one, and I'm super excited about that. And if you want to know about more about that, message me. Okay. All right. So what did I make this week? My daughter-in-law's here. Um, they're called sweet potato stackers. Has anyone made sweet potato stackers? I made them last night. I ate half of them and I'm taking half on the river with me today. They were amazing. Y'all know that I eat sweet potatoes every day. Um, I slice them and I cook, I bake them on a baking sheet and I just roast them in my oven for uh, at usually about 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. And I eat them just like little single pieces. Sometimes I put cinnamon on them. Sometimes I don't. I don't use coconut oil on them normally because they make them a little soggy. So I just like them plain with cinnamon and sea salt. Sometimes not cinnamon. Sometimes just the baked potato with sea salt. Just kind of depends on what I'm wanting. So, um, Oh, Kareen, I'm just seeing your message here. That's so sweet, Mr. Wonderful. That is so sweet. It is so hard. I knew that you were traveling a lot. And um, thank you, Teresa. Thank you so much for putting my website on. Um, Kareen, I'm so glad. I know you were really concerned about traveling. That is that really that's another little nugget that I thought I could put all in one place is traveling with AIP. So traveling when when on the AIP diet. So uh, I think that's a really good one. Kareen, thank you for inspiring me to do that because I know you've had lots of questions about that. So anyway, Tiffany came, my daughter-in-law, she's like, have you ever tried sweet potato stackers? And I was like, no, I haven't. So she had me do them last night. Um, I got a muffin pan. You just get a muffin pan. And uh, I just kind of rub the inside of each little pan in, uh, down with a little bit of coconut oil. And then I, I cut my sweet potato slices super, super thin. And I don't have a pl whatever that little planer thing is. I forgot what that's called. I don't have one of those that you can slide them across. I had to use a knife, um, but my cutting skills in the last seven months of cutting vegetables are pretty on point, let me tell you. So I was able to get really thin slices. Um, I just cut them in thin slices, and then I stacked them inside each muffin pan. So I just one on top of the other, probably about four or five, five pieces stacked on top of each other. And then I sprinkled, um, oh, scratch all that. I cut all the pieces up and I put them in a large bowl and I tossed them with uh, melted coconut oil. So it's liquid coconut oil, sea salt, just sprinkled a bunch of sea salt in there, um, cinnamon, sprinkled a bunch of cinnamon in there. Um, and that was it. And I tossed them. So every single slice got coated with sea salt and cinnamon. Then I stacked them about five high in each individual muffin tin. I think I did two dozen made two dozen, two large sweet potatoes made two dozen. Um, and then I melted some butter flavored because, you know, I cannot have any dairy. So butter, I have butter flavored coconut oil. I bought it at Whole Foods. I melted a little bit of that in a, in a separate bowl, butter flavored coconut oil um, with a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of uh, one stevia packet, uh, not even the whole stevia packet. And then I have rosemary that I grow outside. I pulled rosemary off, brought it in, and just slid all the things off the stem. I just slid all the little rosemary off the stem, stirred it into that glaze, and then I spooned it on top of each stack. Okay? So I just, a stack of five, tossed in a large bowl with sea salt and cinnamon, um, 
put stack them five high into in the muffin pan and then poured over melted butter flavored coconut oil rosemary cinnamon and a little bit of stevia to make it a little bit sweet drizzled that over each one and i baked it at 450 for 20 minutes they're so good my whole house smells so good first of all because it smelled like rosemary they were so, so, so good. Now, I'm not sure how good they're going to be cold on the river in a container um, in the, from the cooler. I don't, I'm not sure, but I'm going to eat them anyway because, you know, I, I don't really care right now sometimes about how things taste when I'm without food. I just need something to fill my belly. Um, and it will be a, a good snack while everybody else is having Funyuns on the river. <laughs> Funyuns and beer. And I'm going to be having, you know, kombucha and water and uh, my sweet potato stackers. But they're really good, you guys. If so for those of you who I turned on to sweet potatoes and you eat them daily, try this. I mean, it's a good, sweet, savory, like really good comfort food. That's what it was like to me. It was a, a hot, warm. They were moist and kind of mushy. And they did. You lift them up and they were all stuck together, just like a muffin. Just like a muffin. So good. The other thing I made this week, and I don't have, uh, I don't remember, this was early in the week. I think it was on Monday. I made some coconut balls. So y'all know how I always share um, the, we call them angel balls, the little paleo angel balls that I order from Amazon. I order them from, um, uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank. Um, I think they're called pa paleo balls or angel balls, protein balls. Anyway, they're on my website. Um, I order from her every week. I get them, I mean, every month. I get them monthly. Um, but so I kind of made my own. Um, they were not fantastic. Like the sweet potato stackers on a scale of one to 10 were a 10. No doubt. They were a 10. Uh, my little coconut balls on a scale of one to 10 were about a five, maybe a six, about a five. So uh, I had to tweak a recipe, a recipe um, that called for some ingredients that I won't use, like maple syrup. I still don't use maple syrup. You can use that on the autoimmune protocol when you've done reintroductory, but I've not reintroduced foods. Um, so I didn't use maple syrup. I used uh, a little bit of stevia, which is just dry. And I think maybe it needed the maple syrup for the sticky and the moisture in it. Um, so that I switched a little bit, but I will add those. I will add those to um, the comments. Uh, tonight when I get home, I'll add both of these recipes. So they were really good. It was a coconut ball, like a little protein ball. It had um, coconut flour, coconut, a sh a shaved, not shaved coconut, um, like coconut flakes, um, coconut flour. I don't remember what all, all was in there. Anyway, coconut oil. They were really, really good, and I think I'm going to make them better. So I'll put the recipe how it is for now um, and the original one, and then once I tweak it some more, I'll send it to you guys. So I got really serious, and I kind of lost my peppiness because I'm, like, super focused, and I'm really struggling with the new camera. So we'll be back next Friday, you guys. Um, let me just – give me just a second here, and let me scroll through some comments and see if there's anything – that is urgent that I can answer right now. Um, uh, people just saying hello. Check out goat yoga. Yes, I've seen goat yoga. <laughs> that would be so funny. We do have goat yoga here in San Antonio, actually. I think we have two locations with goat yoga. I've not done that. That'd be a really fun thing to do to get some of my girlfriends together and go do it just for the, just for the heck of it, just so I can take pictures, right? Just an opportunity to take pictures and video and share it. And that's the truth. Um, Let's see. Hey, Tracy, having health issues. Could you, could you tell me about your diet? Pam Blair, really, Pam? Um, Pam, yes. My, If you're still on, um, if you will visit my website, I know that as Teresa has shared my website on here, uh, tracysfancy.com. Pam, if you've not been there, please go there. It starts at the top, at the top of, um, oh, my doctor's calling. Ugh, my doctor's calling. I don't want to take it because y'all are here. Shoot, I have a hard time getting through to them. Uh, y'all are more important. <laughs> They're probably calling to give me my results from my blood test. Let me tell you guys, if my blood test comes back good, if my liver enzymes are have stayed normal, that means that I will be off prednisone.
completely. I am only on five milligrams at this point. And if she is calling to tell me right now, oh, I could cry, I'm so nervous. If they're calling to tell me that my levels are normal, they're gonna tell me I can get off prednisone. And y'all know how huge that is. I started out on 40 milligrams of prednisone for like five months. And that was a really sucky period of time. It was a very trying period of time for me and for my family. Um, Anyone who's on a lot of prednisone understands that. I don't mean like the little bit of prednisone that you take for asthma or, you know, uh, COPD even. Um, it's like a lot and it's every day. Although I know that even the asthma protocol and the COPD protocol still makes you very edgy and makes you shaky and it, it, it uh, those suck too. I know as an RN, I've treated patients and I've gotten my mother-in-law's on it. Um, I have ants that are on it. Um, I know that those are a trying also. I'm not trying to belittle that, but I am letting you know that when you're on large doses with no break for a long period of time, it gets in your brain and it kind of changes your personality a little bit. And uh, I was a little bit of cray cray. I will tell you all that. Um, and I laugh about spending some time alone in my closet and I'm not kidding. I spent some time alone in my closet. So uh, those days are behind me right now and hopefully forever. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. Um, so I'll let you guys know. I'll come back with comments when I return my doctor's phone call and find out if that's what it was. Um, yes, we want to hear the answer live. Oh, I should have answered. I should have answered. What if it's not good news, y'all? All right, let me call back. I'm going to call back. If you want to hang on here with me, go ahead. Y'all have been with me from the beginning, so you're right. I should have answered that. She's probably not going to answer. She's the, she's the nurse that calls. Stay with me if you want to know. I'll call him back. I'll see if I can get her to answer. Okay, let me try. Hold on. It's, I'm going to have to go to her extension. Let's see. Thank you for calling gastroenterology consultants of San Antonio. If you know the extension you were trying to reach, you can enter it at any time. For English, press 1. Para Español, o prima 2. English. If you are calling from a physician's office, <coughs> press 1. If you are a patient needing a medication refill from a local pharmacy, please notify your pharmacy I first. I think and I please push. hold while I transfer your call. I pushed zero. Oh, shoot. Hold on, let's see. Um, hi, this is Tracy Bellion. Um, I just just missed a call from Josie from Dr. Meta. They were calling to give me some results. Is she still available? I can check to see if she is. I'm going to get your name and date of birth. Sure, it's Tracy Bellion, and my date of birth is 4765. Thank you, ma'am. I'll, I'll check if she's. Oh, I'll check to see if she's available. One moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank goodness I've not been lying about my age, right? Because I just had to say it out loud. So, okay. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to be cool, but my heart's like pounding. All right. What else? Hi, Josie. This is Tracy Bellion, 4765. I just missed your call. milligrams of prednisone so I can stop now I can go down five like our plan um, let me confirm with him he didn't put anything about that but let me um, give me one second let me put this down okay so you're currently on five right yeah we started at 40 and I'm down to five and we were doing every two weeks um, until I got to zero Okay, great. I will be on my toes on standby. <laughs> this is really good news. And we're on live video. We're on a Facebook live video right now, and they're all listening. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> all right, but I'll, but I'll give you a call back as soon as you let me know. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Okay, 
They didn't give me the yes, but I know it's a yes, y'all. I maybe she'll call back while y'all are on. But so, Tiffany, yes. my labs were normal. Yay! <laughs> Yay! She didn't say to stop my prednisone because she's the nurse, so I don't think she wanted to give me the okay. Yes. But she's checking with him. But that's what our plan was. He said to go down to zero. So I know Tiffany won't come hug me because she's in her pajamas. Yes. So, <laughs> yay! So they made they wanted me to do it live. I took the call live. <laughs> I know. So Thanks, y'all. Woohoo! So awesome. I'm so I'm so 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 happy. And I I swear, y'all. I swear, prednisone is a one. It's a horrible thing, but a wonderful thing. And it's a fantastic drug. But I am telling you, every step of the way has been just the way we predicted at, at, at like the best possible scenario and two things one is prayer because i've had so 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 many people praying for me and two is this diet it supports this type of treatment 100 percent it doesn't leave it up to just the steroid to um take care of my immune system it suppresses my immune system but the diet um helps to go in and support my immune system and rework my gut, which is like 70% of your immune system starts in your gut. So this diet reworks the gut and builds it up, gets rid of the bad flora, takes takes on nothing but good, good flora and good bacteria and um, helps my liver to heal so that it can do its job better. Um, and it just kind of resets. It's like a super, super, super power reset. And um, so I, I do, I attribute it to those two things. I really do, or I'll say three things, okay? I'll, I'll put the medical, the conventional medical field in there too. So I'm super happy and I will not uh, let y'all, leave y'all hanging, but I want y'all to know that the, the good lab, lab results is what I wanted. So thank you guys for, for caring and thank you for asking me to do it live because that was really, really fun. And um, if there's someone, please, I will always say this. Um, if there is anyone out there that you know, like Pam Blair was on here, and I know Pam Blair from painting, and um, I I hope that she'll, Pam, I hope you will go check out my website, and, um, and you can private message me also with any questions. I answer every single email and every single message. Um, when it comes, I may not always get to all my furniture painting ones, but I always get to the health ones, because that is so important to me. Um, uh, and there, I get less of those, and it's easier to keep up with. But um, if you know anyone who is dealing with autoimmune disease of, of any sort, um, any thyroid disease, Hashimoto's, rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes, any type of diseases like that, a psoriasis, um, I could just go on and on and on, um, uh, endometriosis, um, fertility issues, those sorts of things. If you will tag them in this video, if you will share this video, um, if you will like and share it, I just that that I can't do it all by myself. You guys, it's up to you guys too to help get the word out there because it is everybody needs to do this. They really, really do. Everybody should be eating like this. I, I wish everybody would. I was sharing that with someone this past week and I just started bawling talking about it. I was like, I just can't make everyone understand. I can't fix everybody, but I, I'm going to do my absolute best and you guys help me doing that. So uh, help me do that. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, please let me know if you try cupping. Please let me know if you have questions about the diet. Uh, please let me know if you are going to the Guadalupe River also and you have just as much fun on the river with your friends and family. I would love to see photos. I post photos. I'd love to see photos of you guys out there. So um, thanks for dealing with my head cold and my new camera. And we'll see you guys next Friday. If you've got anything that you would like for me to address next Friday, please let me know. I'm always looking for good content. I'm always looking to help answer questions. So 
let me know if you have any questions and um, I will see you guys next Friday. You'll have a wonderful weekend and all you dads out there, uh, y'all take care of your dads, okay? Take care of your dads and your husbands and if there's any men list listening, I hope you have a wonderful Father's Day and a beautiful weekend and we'll see y'all next Friday, okay? Thanks y'all, bye-bye. Okay, now to find out where I end the video on this new screen. In video, we're out. See ya, bye.